Would you care to share a story of your own? Oh, boy, I wish I had stories of my own. Well, there's a great story sitting right in front of me. You, Miss Saffron. You are a person who was shaped from the great mud, as all we all were. And you have lived a life. Would you honor us with this? I suppose I could try. <laughs> uh, sort of hard to know where to start. I've actually been frustrated here in state because I haven't been able to do any of the things that I came to do, that I set out to do. I came to America about about six years ago. Maybe seven now. About as long as you've had your horse? Uh, no, I got him about two years after being here, so... Oh. Five, six. So, uh, I, it's been about seven years or so. A year and a half. Two years. When I moved out west, uh, I first came into New York. I had, um, I had lost my fiancé back in Scotland. I was very grief-stricken at the time, and the only way I could cope with that sort of grief was to pretend like it didn't exist, was to ignore it entirely. And to run away. So I thought that I'd try coming here and finding new opportunities. I, I was dirt poor. I couldn't afford the fare across, so I met with some people who, oh, they offered fares to go to America for jobs. I was just factory work in New York that I was supposed to be doing and and it was but I was a few months into being here that I realised that <laughs> I wasn't ever meant to pay back that debt. They kept making me buy uniforms and, and things like that from their store and I could never actually I was just always in debt more than I was making. Because I was supposed to work for them to pay off my fare across the ocean. Also, once I realised I'd sort of been tricked into this scam, I jumped on the next train and headed out west. I ran away again. By then I was quite desperate and I, I, I did some things that I, I regret. I, uh, not here, but in another state. I did some petty burglary, stuff like that. I did stuff that was dangerous that got me in trouble because this entire time I'd been, I'd been pushing away that grief that I had. And I found that when you're trying not to feel the things that you feel the most, you, you stop feeling everything. And the only time I could feel anything was when I was in danger. Um, and it was I got caught and some very good people tried to set me on a straight path and I tried to take that path. But I, I inadvertently caught the attention of some gangs and One gang thought I was a, a spy for another gang that I'd never even heard of before. And they tried to make me tell them things that hurt me very badly. And I was terrified for my life. I was so scared. They were a huge group. There was nothing that could be done to fight them. A few days after they hurt me, they they came to me and they said that they wanted me to be part of their gang after torturing me. A patrol team galloping through us in the middle of the night. And at the time, I was so afraid. I was so scared. 
and I had been uh, I had been found by one of those people like are out in tall trees the ones that eat other people and he'd hurt me badly too and I figured that the best thing I could do and I didn't think it was I didn't think it was really an option I think it was something they did to keep me silent at the time was to accept and so I became part of their game I rode with them I never really did much on their behalf but me being seen with them coloured everyone in the state's opinion of me didn't matter what I actually did and for the longest time there was a, a great sickness in the state so they actually didn't do much they actually helped out with some of the people because this plague was going on but as people started to get better they started to change they started to press me into doing more and they started taking hostages for bank robberies stuff like that and I, I really didn't want to do that I was I was terrified and finally there there was a day we, we went to rob a bank they took several hostages and one of the deputies outside they really hated him in particular and they Oh, I think he offered. I, I can't really remember. But either way, they agreed to trade the hostages for him. And they took him across the state to a cave. And they promised, they promised that they wouldn't kill him, that they wouldn't hurt him, but they started torturing him. And all this while, the only way I could deal with it, deal with living with the people who had hurt me the way they had, I had to pretend like it hadn't happened. I had to almost believe that it had happened I couldn't think about but what they were doing to him things like what they did to me I couldn't push it away anymore and and I realised that I had to make a choice I had to make a choice to do the right thing otherwise he was going to die and so I fled from that place and I let the law know where he was and what was happening Of course, they found out about what the law told them. The law hated me so badly just because I rode with them that they told me, that they told the gang that it was me who ratted them out. I look back at those weeks and I'm not quite sure how I survived it. They, they put some very harsh, harsh penalties on me. They nearly hung me in a tree. I was all for my silence. When it came down to it, I couldn't testify against them in courts because they made me promise with a rope around my neck, sitting on the back of a horse, strung to a tree. And really what I had wanted to do in that state, what I'd been trained to do before before they came and they hurt me for doing nothing, for simply being around. I'd want to be a deputy, I wanted to help people. I wanted to... And I worked for months and months and months and months to rebuild my reputation and it was working but it, the people in that state were so corrupt that even the, the state marshals one of them was sleeping with one of the leaders of the gang that I had been in. So they were always against me. The department there deputised me a few times, which only got me retribution from the gangs that I was deputised against. They deputised me, they'd use me, let me bleed, but they wouldn't ever support me. It got so bad in that state the gangs running around unchecked that I finally had to leave just to stay alive and that's when I came here to the crossing do not be fooled. They never come in. the last thing I wanted to do was to run away again I wanted to 
I thought that I had made my choice in that cave not to let fear control me anymore and to quit blaming my circumstances for where I was and to make choices that led me down the right path. And now I'm here, but I'm sort of stuck in place. And then why are you stuck? I haven't been able to do anything that I've sought out to do. I've played for the department that haven't even granted me an interview. I thought that I could write for the newspaper. I've, I'm rather well read and I'm good at writing. But they turned me down what for that job too. To so I spend my yes. days hunting alone. You show great strength on this day, Saffron. To share your story. Of great pain. Of anguish. Your life has given you many trials. And you give us this blessing. Oh. 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 There's times like these. Where we sit around the fire. And breathe in tobacco and sage. The great gifts of smoke. The great creator gave us these gifts because these are signs of life, death, and rebirth. I have lived many moons. I have seen many sunrises and many sunsets. And all throughout those there has been Pain. Aye, there's a lot of pain. But this does not define you. Well, I try to make sure that it does not. Said so you have not found a place to solidify yourself, to find the thing that completes you. If it's your talents or your drive, it is not the past that defines you. This what you gain knows. Take this reassuringly. The things that one has done, and it's what you do with your past, and how you let it shape your future. What I've always told people and what I've tried to remember is that I can't change the past, but I can change the future through what but I'm doing now. Acknowledging the past, this is a great step. This allows you to learn great lessons in life. You are time with these gangs, you are running away. Some may take this as cowardice. Others will take this as change. And like a rock that tumbles on top of a peak and rolls down to the stream below. The time. The water pushes it in different speeds and shapes it to be smooth. A beautiful thing. I do not see a coward. I see someone who has made the necessary steps to survive in this world will test you and you are still being tested if Wachuge could give you any solace on your situation your position do not give up on yourself there are people out there who will raise you up? Who will eventually give you the opportunity to prove yourself and your worth? As I have been ever so reluctant to do so by meeting people like Wombaleska, who went to Roke, or many of my other tribe can. 
This has been a great blessing. And maybe the great creator on this day has brought you here to speak your pain and your anguish into the air for it to become real. For you to further accept. You are someone who has drive, the fight or flight of a warrior. The smartest warriors know when to retreat. And as the ones who are fools, a great resolve who fight blindly, who accept fate. You are no fool. I'll try and remember that. Thank you for giving us this blessing on this day. You do not have to ever hunt alone. You do know this. You do not have to walk Saints Crossing feeling as if you were completely in solitude. There are many places where you can find understanding. Many places where you can find purpose. I suppose I just have to find them then, still. Well, maybe they will find you. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with the world around you. Fill yourself with the drive necessary to give yourself the completion to make you feel whole. As I can feel that your spirit it rains. It has doubt. Give yourself the time to heal. And if these people do not see you for who you are, then they are the one who are fools. Damn the paper. And damn the law. I just don't know what to do outside of outside of what I hope to. It's hard because I can look back in my past and I could justify being the worst sort of person. And a lot of people who had gone through the same things that I've gone through would have taken another path. I had to yank my feet away from that path. I had to force myself to make the right choices and not the wrong choices because the wrong choices would have been the easier ones to do. I just feel like I've struggled so hard for so long. And it's like I've gotten to a top of a mountain and found that there's nothing there and that I'm just far away from everything. There is beauty for where you stand. I have a bad feeling about this. You struggled very hard to get to the top of that mountain. Do not ignore the beauty of this accomplishment as you look out to a cascade that greets your eyes. We have all struggled here in this teepee. You have struggled. Even more so, I have not walked in your boots, but you have made it clear. There is a clairvoyant path for you. And when you descend from this mountain, and you look upon its peaks again, just know that it was possible to reach it. You have.
have the strength. Give yourself this credit. Even with the supplies coming, the portions will be less. Every day here, something new. Chadkin, do you have any words of reflection? I'll defer to Winter Oak first if he wishes to speak on it. His words are precious, he speaks so few. <laughs> mm, I think great many to place many challenge in front of us, but whether choice right or wrong when made, it's always chance to learn. Oh. Oh. They hold more talk with elders, more promises. Or look for me. I I I see little of uh the mountains when it comes to life. And perhaps it is because my people come from such a place, but in this way I see life as a great flat plane. And in our life, we walk from one horizon to another. To my nice kid. And there are many things that are easy to miss, and the path goes many directions through the tall grass, and... You're not even really sure what you're walking forward for or looking for sometimes, and... I think I have come to accept that... To fear that there is fire following you through the tall, dry grass... Is a life that is difficult for the sake of making it so. The most important thing I think of is that it is important to be sure that you will be taking steps forward at all time. Because if you see things this way, no matter where this path will end at a horizon, there will things that will turn and change. You may encounter a river one day, you may encounter a cougar waiting to flash itself upon you the next, but at some point all of these paths come to this place. I've made a lot of mistakes in my past too. I lived a very violent life, Saffron. I hunted men for money. It was rich living, to be sure, but squandered. Always hunting for the next thing. No satisfaction. I thought I was living it very well. I thought I was enjoying myself. It was good to have money. It was good to wander. It was good to be around the, the men that I loved as my family. I, um, at the age of eight, uh, I no longer lived on my reservation. My father returned after having never met him and says, Ejo, you are my son. I'm going to take you away, and I will teach you what it means to be a mercenario. <laughs> and I was eight years old, and this man shows up looking like a hero from a book, or from the stories that I hear from all the towns. Of course, I wish to go with him in some ways, but it was a hard life. But it is behind me now. And I accept it as a part of myself. Accepting your past as part of yourself is what will help you build yourself to be stronger in the future. If we stay here, regardless we of what lays bones. before you. They know this. I heard the bones talking. Oh, I will be making the mistake of... Uh -huh. mm. I will go greet these guests right here. Please. There's Thank some you. there. Yes. Mm. I hear voices. One moment, friends. I will greet you at the cart. There is a woman. Saffron. She wishes you a friend of the tribe. Married to one of our tribe kin. Hey. Okay. This is a woman who works very hard for the paper of Saints Crossing. Allow me to give you this gift. Allow me to go ahead and show you the path that will allow you to meet this woman. 
Oh. If anything, maybe we could find a way to give you solace in your search to find your position in life. I didn't can. The, the paper told me that they're interested in the stories that I wanted to tell. <laughs> that I wanted to find out, but they didn't want to hire me. They just wanted to buy just those stories. But to me, it felt... It felt the same as if... As when I'd be deputised, but offered no support. Back where I came from. And who did you speak to? A woman named Constance Wright. You did not speak to my friend. We will see if this is the same. She understands the value of people. Not just for what they can offer. And we have talked to many people this way. If this is so, then so it shall be. Would you... You said you read the book of Genesis, yes? Aye. Would you pray with me? Uh, I pray to to my God. If you, you do, <laughs> if you will pray to your God, I will hear your prayer. And I shall pray to mine. And if anything, the power and strength of two great many twos will definitely go ahead and bless your boots and your steps going forward. Sure. Uh. Stand with me. Would you do me the honor? Sorry? Please, lead in your prayer. Oh, um... Sorry, I feel put on the spot here, um... Then take your time. You have nothing but... Manito is a patient. Lord, um, as you know, I'm quite lost right now, and I'm looking for a way forward. I'd like to ask that you keep on guiding my path along the right way to go, and that you show me what it is I should be doing. Amen. Oh. Great creator. Great Manito in the sky. Oh, spirit. I come to you in prayer on this day. For the path of someone so conditioned has come to us. You have blessed us with her presence. Wachuge knows much strife and much pain. One to which I can only feel from a saffron. I ask of you to show her the way and give her the signs necessary to complete her path. Like a silver fox that loses its den in the hunt. May she find resolution in her experience in the past. And may her spirit burn as bright as Yotanit. 
the great fire. May she walk a blessed path, one that brings her great fortune. We pray to you on this day to thank you for the trees and the soil to which we stand upon, the water to which we drink from your rivers. These great blessings help us drive ourselves to move forward. Give us the strength necessary to do what needs to be done. We are This is not a happy accident of you just coming down the trail to look for treasure. The great Manitou, the god of Genesis, has fun ways of going ahead and aligning paths. You give us great strength on this day, great humility, and this you have my people's thanks. Just know, if you were ever to find yourself lost, if you were ever in need of company, of fire or smoke, you may find it here, Saffron, and you always will. Do not be fooled. They never come in peace. Oh, thank you. 